hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial but today is going to be one of the best acts you've ever seen edible glitter oh my goodness do you know how expensive these things are when you want to buy them oh they can cost and they come in little 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 pots so imagine my excitement when i realized you can just use rice paper and water and food coloring of course to create your own desired colors edible of edible glitters okay now the step is super easy just the same way you do your rice paper sales the way you prepare them put it in soak it up in a colored water when it's completely soaked, I mean like you don't feel those bumps on it, you know those square shapes that comes with a pa rice paper. When it's totally done and soaked and soft to touch, then scoop it out of the water and spread it out on a silicone mat. I recommend silicone mat. Don't you use foil i'll tell you later what happened to me when i used foil so yeah make sure you spread out really nicely that there are no folding at the edges though you can't avoid some but there will be and let it dry out okay so here i am making another glitter using granulated sugar because i just wanted to compare and see which looks better in terms of glitters uh, which one looks much more you know nicer when to use and all that so I have just come to color a sugar and that's it I have used the same color that I'm using for the rice paper and now I am going to spread it out on the foil paper and um, I'll go ahead and dry this in the oven I think I dried it for about 10 minutes at um 100 degrees celsius between 100 to 150 i shouldn't even do 150 i feel like 150 was too hot for it look at the rice paper that, and look at my sugar um edible glitter so you have to choose which one but i prefer the rice paper because it's so much more glittery and so much lighter and lovelier also so now i'm going to make different colors just the same step added my color gel my food coloring gel i'm using sugar flare brand i barely use all the brands i hide i i'm in the uk so i either use sugar flare or pm he i mean those have the most um the most common ones around here in my opinion i don't know so now it's soaked up it's nicely soaked and I'm just going to spread it out on the silicone mat. So I'm just trying to make another one. I think I make three each for each of colors. Well, this is it. why I'm telling you not to use a foil. I should leave a picture. I mean, okay, I didn't put a video so to save time, but the foil got stuck on my... <laughs> Um, the rice paper got stuck on the foil and it was a disaster. It broke alongside the foil. It wouldn't come off. So it was a waste for me. So please. Now the next step is to blend it. You know, when it's nice and dried. Oh, I should mention that I dried this in the oven for, for 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. They depend yeah about 15 minutes actually i dried it and um yeah at 100 degrees celsius 100 de degrees celsius you can do 150 but at between 100 to 150 is fine and um dry it and let it once it's crispy dry and it breaks when you hold it like it's breakable where right? you can literally crumble it with your finger then that's fine it's have that's the, the texture that's the, the dryness you want you don't want it to be still soggy no it's not going to blend and give you the desired you know sequins that you 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 like so yeah that's it i've blended it in my smoothie <laughs> blender i you can use your grinder your coffee grinder or your, your spice grinder 
here so whatever small blender you have because it's going to yield small powder or glitter so you don't want to use a big blender for that unless you're doing a whole big batch batch yeah so now look at that look at that i don't even need to buy waste so much money rice paper comes quite cheap in the mac in the in the shop so i mean that means i've just gotten very cheap a double glitter so here i'm making another color um i used a uh, what color did i use for this one i think i used melon color the melon color is meant to be like yellowish goldish not really gold but she get the idea like a sun kind of color but fine yeah so uh, you can use this for um you know you, anything any decoration you want you i i intended to make a gold one but i don't know i just sort of got tired because i've been making i made the rest um rice paper edible glitter all day i so thought my legs were tired i was filming for you guys so you can see but what I wanted to do for the gold one was to use, to make a plain paper, a rice paper, dry it and color it in gold, like use an edible luster and color it the way you would color rice paper cells just to give it that gold tint. Yeah, that was what I intended to do and blend it. I was wondering if, if it would come out really golden or just, I don't know, maybe someday I will try it. So see, I've made all these colors. And yeah, I just decided to do one more that I'm not, I did not color it. Um, you know, you can use this like on your silver um, or, or white wedding cake. So just, you know, a cake that you don't want to add color to but you want sequins you just you can use this just like a silver tone or something i don't know i mean there's so many ways you can decorate with this but this is a lifesaver guys it's so simple to make very super 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 simple you don't need to cook anything in, on the you know you don't need to make gelatin you don't need to you just have your rice paper soak it dry it blend it I mean that's all the steps you need and you and just sift it yeah so this is a step again soak the rice paper in colored water dry it either in the oven or leave it out to dry to hair dry third step is to break it into crush it into pieces using a blender you can use up um, your you know the little pestle and mortar thing yeah for pounding stuff or you can just blend it in the blender and then after blending you can sift it yeah you'll actually need to sift it especially if you need those tiny um if you need the finer particles for a cake and the rest of the coarse ones that's left in the seat in the sieve you can use it as um what's this called like sequins don't you know the sequins cake where you just you know slap the sequins on it by hand yeah you can use it, it you can use it for those um decoration it's perfect for that actually i would love to do that someday with this um recipe so there's just so much you can do with this you you and it's so it's so cheap like so cheap rice paper comes cheap i don't know from where i am I mean, I don't, uh, in the UK here, I believe rice paper, I can't remember how much I got this for, but it's not that expensive. You do on your pictures on Instagram at Maffy's Kitchen, at Maffy's underscore kitchen. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you really, really found this tutorial useful. Uh, we'll see you next time and have a lovely day. And just a quick reminder of, to turn on the notification bell besides the subscribe button so you can be notified of my next video i'll see you then thank you for watching